A and K time. This is my this hands down one of my favorite guns I have. A and K PKM. Now, for those of you who don't know, this is an LMG. It's quite heavy. It weighs around 25 pounds, fully loaded. Today I'm just gonna, you know, tell you how it performs. You know, tell you a little bit about it. Um, first off, we'll start off with the magazine. Magazine is electric fed, and it holds 5,000 rounds. That's a lot of ammo. Okay, so the battery I use for it is a Butterfly 1600 volt. And, or amp or whatever. And, on average, BB takes around 2 amps to shoot. So, a con of this would be, you know, with your 5,000 round magazine, you only get around 800 shots. And that's something that they don't really tell you, but you kind of have to factor in yourself. So if you buy something like this, because this was, it was pricey, um, that you're going to need like three or four batteries just to use the whole magazine. I use .25s in here. You could honestly use .20s. The effective range is about 30, 35, 40 yards maybe. It's brand ass. It has great range. Um, you bring this to the fields and your friends are like, whoa, what's that? And I'm like, yeah, it's my baby right here. Oh my God, bro, it's so nice. It's full metal, black, um, got the bipod, got spot for, you can put dummy rounds in it, which is really cool. And, uh, yeah, the only thing that, um, you would have trouble with really is carrying it around. And maybe, if you're not great at it, the magazine is, eh, eh, maybe get it on your first try. It's just, it hooks in with these little, right here, these hooks, they hook onto the side and they push up and in the LMG. And inside of here, there's a little compartment where you store your cable and your battery for your NK. This cable comes with it in the magazine. That's the cable that feeds the electronic feeder so that you get to pull down the trigger and you don't have to stop until your battery dies. Um, yeah, other than that, this thing is just a beast on the battlefield. Now we'll just do a little, eh, we'll do a little, we did a little. We'll show you how Kevin feels to get shot with it from, I think it was at least 30 yards, 35 yards on low battery, just to show you how, how far the gun this can shoot. Show you that a little bit later. But other than that, it handles real nice. Picks up the whole thing. It's got a shoulder rest. So if you're going prone, you know, that'll be really nice to have. It's got the sights. Um, one thing I do would recommend is um, get like compressed air and just after every time you use it, just clean it up a little bit. I play in the woods, get sturdy, you know, it's nice to like maintain something. That's what I do. But uh, other than that, you know, dude, you're just chilling with this thing. You can pull up anywhere and people will get scared looking at you. It's a feeling like no other. Trust me. You know, when you get that one friend with a supersonic gun and you're like, bro, I hope I don't get shot by him or I hope he's on my team yeah this is this is that type of gun if you want to scare people this is that type of gun that's what you want hands down so uh, yeah um it's got a cocking mechanism but it's not spring or anything it's because all of your gearbox is in here and your hop-ups in here and everything else wiring wise but uh yeah that's it's my PKM. Again, it's made by A and K, full metal. It's really nice. It's really nice. And I guess we'll just play the video of Ben and I shooting Kevin simultaneously as he runs away. I think he has a Soviet flag in his hand. Yeah, have fun. <laughs> And of course, quick thing I want to add, 
Kevin's okay. He didn't die. That was from about 30 to 40 yards. Depending, I don't know how far you want to say he ran. At the beginning, it was like 25, and he ran all the way to like 35, maybe. But the range is, is good. I would definitely recommend it, but not to beginners. No, maybe intermediate to, um, you know, more of advanced airsofters. Sorry, but, yeah. All right, well, no. N no, I'm still not going to say it. You can you can leave anytime now. Why are you still here? 